All right, and I'll tell you now, because this is like a part two segment. How my brother used to dress was he would wear either a button-up long sleeve or a regular t-shirt, and he'd wear a ball cap hat like he still does. So does my cousin Joe wear a ball cap hat as well. And my brother, he would uh, wear regular underwear. Now he wears um boxers, but... Um, my brother would wear, um, carpenter jeans only, because the, in high school, all the popular boys would wear, um, carpenter pants only, and, um, he wore boots only. That's all he would wear. He would never wear regular shoes nor sandals. If you got him a pair of regular shoes or sandals, he would tell you to return them in regular socks or boot socks, of course. And you always wear boots, you know. Um, he always loved working on trucks and cars, you know. And, you know, if he had money, he would mount his um, deer. Whereas, like, right now, he wears sleeveless shirts, sunglasses, and a ball cap hat. And I think he still wears carpenter pants, or regular pants. And now she brainwashed him into wearing sandals. He would never wear sandals. I'll tell you that right now. And... Like, I don't want to say, back then he would never eat pork rinds, nor, um, how would you say, uh, trying to think, uh, it's green mush, basically, but it's in the fruit and vegetable section, but, yeah, anyway... He would never eat that. And I guess now she forces him to eat that. And he says he doesn't like that. He does. He never liked his spicy food. I'll tell you that. And. Now. Like, like I don't know what the change is. But. With him saying yes and no, like, I I don't want to say it to him. I have the feeling Shamela's going to find out through the grapevine because one of my, our family members will find uh, my YouTube channel and listen to my videos where I talk about my brother and how he was and this and that. Where, like I said, I talk about my brother talk, sounding like he has a crush on a waitress at Denny's that serves him. Um, it, it'll make her not trust him anymore. Probably accuse him of cheating and dumping him. Like I said, she's on Facebook, Shamila Antos. If you look her up, you can send her nasty, um... Facebook messages if you want. She's also on um, Twitter. Shamala Line um, Antos basically is. She's got dark hair. She's chubby with glasses. But I don't know who the guy is that Kevin. When she's not around and our parents were upstairs. Always talked about on the phone and sitting there complaining about Shamula. He said stuff like, you know, he just wanted a brand new girl. He just wants a brand new girlfriend. He says he wants to move on, but like I, like I hate to say it, you know. I've seen Shamo with my own eyes cheating on my brother while he was at work. But the thing is, I have a feeling someone will also tell my brother that I've seen Shamo cheating on him. 
there's going to be a lot of trust issues that's going to, I think, erupt. But, um, what I honestly think my brother should do is just really think about what he wants. You know, right now it sounds like he doesn't really know what he wants. I know the way he, my mom and dad said he's talking like he wants to settle down and have kids and this and that. It's like, I understand he wants kids and to settle down, but what my parents don't understand is I don't think he knows who he wants to settle down with. Especially when he's talking about other women. He talks a lot about that waitress. He talks a lot. Even about Jaime's girlfriend, good lord. And she still messages him on Facebook. Let alone texts him. He never blocked her on Facebook, let alone her phone number. And it's like, why don't you just, first off, tell Jaime's girlfriend off. Because you never know if Shamula... While you're in the shower or busy and you have your phone laying around and it beeps and she looks at it and she finds out it's Jaime's girlfriend messaging you. Yeah. So she, I think like one time when my bro was out drinking, I think he lost two phones. No, he lost one phone. And we never found it, I'll tell you that. It was an Apple iPhone 5C. White one. But then when his own buddy submitted, and I thought, well, then he and a real friend said to him he found Kevin's phone, and he kept it. He just kept it. Even though I had all my brother's information, etc. on the phone. So basically what U.S. Cellular did was they locked that phone. So. Um. Uh, like I hate to say it to my brother too. Your drinking buddies, they ain't really your friend. They ain't gonna look out for you. When this all comes out, they're gonna point the finger at you. They're gonna rat you out saying, yes, you've been complaining about Shamila. You've been telling them how you're going to dump her. And how you think that you're, you're going to get a new girlfriend real fast and rebound and be... According to my brother, he thinks he's going to be with a thinner woman that's older than Shamula. But supposedly a year younger than my brother. So, it's like, really? And... I'm like, boy, I, and that's why I don't want to tell my mom and dad, but like I said, it's my side, I know they'll, they always do searches on all of us, and trying to find our accounts and this and that, I think they will play my YouTube videos on my channel. And I think, like, with my brother, that's, that's when it's all gonna come down, crumbling down. Because even knowing my cousin Joe and his girlfriend Krista, they'll play it in my YouTube channel videos where I talk about my brother to her. She hears how the old Kevin was. Yes, my brother always loved hunting. Yeah. He he liked it watching the Packers, I'll tell you that. Um we both were not on Facebook. I believe not until two thousand fourteen. So even I wasn't on Twitter until I think March of two thousand fourteen. Because in two, February 2014 was when I joined Facebook. So. And I think it took an... I think I joined Instagram that... I think... Yeah. I think summer. 
but like I said, um, my brother and I, we used to talk a lot to each other and helping each other out, you know, we were tight as could be in that until they, uh, he started dating Shamula. And then, like, with Shamla, she really splitted our family. Now he will not speak to me after she flipped out and hurted his feelings and pointed the finger at me. I said nothing to her. I did nothing wrong to her. You know, like I said, I don't know what she has against me and our family. She even tried to make Kevin turn on our own parents and our family and cousins, aunts, and uncles. She doesn't want them around any, any of us. I don't know why, but... And I guess... It, it's been getting really ugly. And to the point where I had to say she ain't welcomed around. I didn't even want her at our wedding, at my own wedding when I married my husband Arnie Lee Elias and so yeah but yeah I blocked her on Facebook and Twitter because of how she's been acting like a little two year old <laughs> 